trademark. Okay, okay so calendar is a link. So go ahead and bring up your links and go to calendar. And enter. And enter. And hit your control. Okay. Now, create is a button. So you can either hit many, many Bs to get to button or just do a fine command for create. Okay. And now let's go ahead and hit enter on create button. Okay, how about we just put uh, tech training for next Saturday at 10 o'clock. So just do tech training right here. Okay, now you just have a sequence of a whole bunch of boxes to go through. So tab. Yeah, yeah, you slash, you need to use your slash. And what is next Saturday, 19? Yeah. And let me tell you, an image box does open, but it's problematic. So just always have him type it in. So he needs to figure out what date he needs to be doing something before he goes in there. And just don't try to move around the image boxes because you know that takes routing of cursor and a whole lot more work than we want to do. Okay, <clears throat> tab to your time. Okay, so just type in 10. One, zero. Perfect. Tab. Oh, I just need to put 10? Yep. Tab until time And then, perfect, and it changes to 11. And so I it automatically it, does an hour just like it does on it, a lot of them. Exactly, and don't we love that? Okay, and tab again. Tab until they did 10 slash 19 slash Yeah, and it just confirms that. And you even have, when you tab, you can even do time zone if you weren't in the same time zone, but you're not going to have to worry about that. So tab. Okay. Tab. Keep going. Tab, add for email addresses, edit. Tab, add button. Okay, so that's add guests. You're not doing any of that. Oh, that's add. No, I, no idea. I thought that was added to my calendar. Oh. Yeah, no, that's add guests. And, and if it doesn't read any names, all you have to do is uh, either up arrow or down arrow, depending on where the title no, is. I added a guest, like if I added you. Yeah, or added you, maybe you want him to go ahead and ant enter your email address to always check, you know, the, his calendar to make sure he's doing it correctly. Okay. Okay, tab again. And so, if I invited others? Yeah, like if you were doing this for like a meeting, you could go ahead and add their emails and their ad guests and then make sure this is checked, invite others. But right now we're going to uncheck that. Space, uncheck. And then tab again. Check You're not making a guest list, so go ahead and uncheck that. Okay. okay. And I don't know if it read that to you, but it says guests may be able to view the guest at list if changes to this event are made via a third party client. We don't have to worry about that. Tab. tab more link. Did I hear more link? Learn more. Learn more. It, oh, that's what it is. Tab again. Tab, where is it? Okay, so where is this taking place? Uh, ours is virtual instruction. B-I-R-T-U-A-L-I-S-T-R-U-C-T-I-O-N. Okay, tab. Add, add video call button. We're not going to add a video call, but isn't that cool? You have the option. There calendar. It just tells you whose calendar this is on, so it's going to say his name. Tab. Tab. Description edit. Um, learning the PC with talking software. So, of course, he's going to be putting math, page 226, English. And he can add all of that in there. Okay. Just just type a little something right now, though, just so it comes up on your calendar. Learning. Add, add attachment. So no. you can add attachment if you need to. But pretty much you can go ahead now and tab to uh, save. Or... Add. It's a lot of tabs, or just do a find command for save button. Can I do it right here? I'm oh, gonna... yeah, 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 reminders. Oh, no, 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 you know what? Uh, no, let's, I forgot. Let's set up the reminders. Excuse me. Insert tab and listen to where you're at. Reminders edit. 
type of tab. Okay, shift tab so you hear email because you want the reminders to come up in email because moving around the actual calendar is not smooth. So mm -hmm. you want these reminders to come up, and email is always your first option. So tab. Shift tab. List box. Oh, oh. No, no, tab, not shift tab. So you have email, and then yeah. you're going to have the time, and then you're going to say minutes, hours, etc. Tab. Tab. What do you want? Uh, one day ahead, two days ahead? Uh, one day. Okay, put one. One and then tab to your combo box. Now hit D for day. D, days. Okay, so uh, he's gonna get this reminder a day ahead. Tab again. Tab, remove reminder button. Uh, tab again, we don't wanna remove it. I so you actually get two options. He can have a pop-up. Down arrow to look at your other options. That's what I was afraid of. Uh, it doesn't come up unless you know what they are. <laughs> And I can't remember what they are. Let's see, email, pop-up. Well, email's the best anyway. Let's yeah. do let's do a pop-up. So you're gonna see, and it will have a pop-up window that comes up. Okay, so tab to your next one. Tab, reminder, set it, set it. Let's do 30 minutes before the the meeting. Okay, so, sure. and then tab over. Tab, reminder, combo box, minutes. And it's already minutes. Okay, yeah. so now at this point we can bring up our find command and save. Virtual find. Jaws by S A V E. Enter reminders combo box. Minutes wrapping the top. Well, it wrapped to top. That's fine. B for button to get to save. B. Oh, we love how Jaws pops you out. Tab around so you're stuck someplace. Tab, remove reminder button. Oh, you're stuck down in your reminders. Maybe you can't do a find command while you're in your combo box. We just found that out. Okay, now do your find command. Even though Jaws said he was wrapping to top. Enter, remove reminder button. No, there was no save in that dialog box. That was the problem. Remove reminder button. Okay, control F. Type in save. Enter. Reminder button, ramp it to the top, save button. There yeah. you go, now enter. And alert, level space, loaded, complete, loaded, complete, loaded, complete, loaded, complete, loaded, complete, loaded, complete. Okay, beautiful. Um, he's also doing this Google Calendar on his, uh, he's got an iPhone. Oh, it will come up in his iPhone. Yeah. Yeah, and what's he's, nice about it is he, it will have his reminders there. Uh, and everything. Now, uh, you uh, have... And, and he's learning to create it on the iPhone. Oh, yeah. Then he's just going to flick through, find, create, hit enter, you know, double yeah. tap on the create yeah. button, and then he's just going to flick through each option. I'm, I'm not teaching him that a... Uh, an OT decided she wanted to do that. Oh, okay. It's, it's good information for uh, you also to have this. It's not that difficult. It's more running around when you want to see your calendar. You're actually on your calendar page right now. Uh, I want to see if this actually reads as a table. It should, but as we know, hit T for table. Table with seven columns and seven rows. Mini calendar dash October 2013. Column one, row one, S. Okay, so you are on your actual calendar right now. Hit T again, see if you can jump to the other table. Table with four columns and nine rows. That's it. Row one. Block quote showing events after nine slash twenty two slash twenty three. Okay. Now I don't have any events, events after nine tw oh nine twenty two. Yeah. Yeah. So they've improved this tremendously. They this was never labeled before, so they've been working on this. So now you can down arrow. So Mon October 14th down arrow and you'll remember you're moving horizontally when you down arrow. Perfect. Keep going down arrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so this is working really nicely now. I want to see if you can move straight down your table now. Uh, insert tab, listen to where you're at. 
Space. Okay, down arrow one more time to your date. Okay, now.